What's going on guys, Kaiga here. Today we're talking about patch 1.36. All the patch notes will be in the description down below, as well as on my Discord link down below. So, right here is a new game mode. Uh, Burning Soul Battle is the translated name. It'll probably be something slightly different once it makes its way to global and gets translated. But that's what it is right now. First, before we go into that, let's talk about the new optimizations coming to the game. Uh, first is a very big one for a lot of players, is Elemental Realm. So, Elemental Realm is supposed to follow a same, similar rule that uh, Path of Fire does, where, where it's when a new season starts, it's based on when you log in. So... If you log in at 5 a.m. server time, you would be in uh, war, war Zone 1. And then once that uh, gets filled up, then there will be a War Zone 2. The issue here is Path of Fire is working just fine, but Elemental Realm... Uh, it re it's requiring a lot more, it seems like. We don't know the exact number, but... Uh, there are several, even on newer servers, you'll get situations where there are two or three Path of Fire uh, war zones and only one Elemental Realm war zone. Now there's always going to be at least two, which means twice the rewards than normal. So that's pretty nice. Uh, if you have someone you're trying to avoid that you know logs in in the morning, wait till the afternoon to log in if you know there's uh, someone very big that you're trying to avoid that logs in right for um, events log in early in the morning and you will likely not have to deal with them if the tutor's offline for seven days or more the apprentice can graduate without the tutor that's very nice you'll you can finish the quests but then if your tutor never logs on because you have to be in the same team to graduate you can now do it this way. Added a new flower fairy formation. I don't know if this means that it's adding a sixth one, which I would really like a sixth one because of uh, rotations and just having a loadout, or if this means they're making changes to it. It's not very clear. Added exclusive bag for star map materials. This is totems, uh, which is very nice. Uh, I would be in a situation where I would have millions of blue ones and they take up all the spaces in my bag. Added Sprout of Origin to the rewards for top 3 uh, in Guild Boss. I believe it was just either top 1 or top 2 before. Now the top 3 guilds will get Sprouts in their daily, uh, in their daily uh, auctions. Optimized... A function to conveniently replenish flower fairy progress materials when they are insufficient. This is not very clear. Uh, it might mean the boxes that we have um, to get the four types of materials. Uh, transform potions, psychic stones, stuff like that. It might mean if we click it and then click like 320 to go to 400... We might be able to quick click it, and it'll open up the bet. It'll open up all the chests that I need to do it. That's kind of what it sounds like, but I'm I'm unsure. I'm sorry, guys. We'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, add a button to switch weapons when wearing a weapon in the closet. So if you uh, want to see how your different weapons look in the closet, you can do that now. Optimize the description of war inscriptions. I have a video on that. Uh, added a function to automatically use stamina potions for life skills. That is huge. If you just want to uh, set your fishing, set the auto uh, stamina potions, go take a shower, work out, come back, and then it's all done. You don't have to uh, use po use use all your inner, uh, stamina, use all your potions, then use all your stamina again. Uh, optimized interface information and interaction of the fishing function. Uh, I think this means once you go to a fishing spot and you click the button, it just kind of, okay, puts you in the uh, fishing 
kind of UI and then you fish. I think it, you can just do it in one fell swoop is what it means. Next is the Burning Soul Battle, the 1v1 League. Uh, uh, so a lot of information is not here about it. I'm going to read you what we have, show you some screenshots, and then talk about what most likely will happen. So it's 1v1. Each Burning Soul Battle lasts two weeks, with one week of point matches and one week of knockout matches. So very similar to uh, Peak, uh, Shrine Peak, uh, where we do the matches. You can like uh, quick battle the first couple, and then you have to actually battle the people. That's what I'm expecting uh, in the first portion, or this is just, we'll, we'll see as we go. Uh, the point matches are open for four days, so the first week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, from 7 to 7.30. 7.30 being bath time. The issue here is there's, unless the Thunder Roars are on opposite days, I believe Thunder Roars are on opposite days. So, it's either Thunder Roar or uh, Burning Soul Battle. And then so on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, you play by yourself from 7 to 7.30 every day to get points. Based on the ranking, the top 96 advance to the knockout round and are divided into three groups. Uh, as we'll see right here, one, two, three groups. Uh, the knockout matches will be held for three days on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, uh, same time, uh, best of three system, failing leads to elimination, and victorious players continue until only three remain. Players who have not advanced to the knockout match can participate and watch and bet, very similar to Top League, uh, but it sounds like either there is no knockout Either there is no finals on Sunday of the second week, or it's just Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then everyone's done. Uh, so going on into the screenshots, it looks like it wants you to do 40 battles uh, between the four days of that week and the four days of the next week. So that's five battles a day. You probably get those five battles. Uh, as we see over here to the right, are people's uh, victory points points that you get for victory there might be more for like style or whatnot we see hundred and then up here to the top right is the currency we do not know what's going to be in the shop but it will have a new shop which means more weekly uh, items coming to us and this kind of looks like different tiers which we'll see from another one right here so uh, I don't know if you need to be, uh, if this is scored, if this is, uh, based on, uh, how high you are, very similar to Shrine Peak, where if you're in the, I believe it's, a uh, top 24, then you go into the top tier of Shrine Peak, if you're lower, you go to the lo lower tier, it might be based off of that, or it could be, if you went, no, this is the three groups. The higher you are, you get to the higher tier. Middle of the pack goes here, lower of the pack goes there. And then the rewards are right here. Uh, these look like inscription and order boxes. I do not know what this chest right here is. Hopefully, it's a gold treasure chest where we could uh, pick a gold treasure. That would be nice. And then this right here uh, looks like buffs to our players and it doesn't look like you can change it so it looks like this one on the left would be a buff during the uh, point week so the first four days that first week it looks like this would be the bonuses during that and then this right here looks like the buff that would be during the knockout round uh, plus 100 plus 50 of different stats plus 50 plus 50 and last screenshot we have right here, treasure reward. Uh, this is for down here. 
uh, doing your matches, uh, do the no- participate and get rewards Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then as you see, two, I'm guessing this is two weeks left, and then this is the active effect. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I'm really hoping this is going to be like Top League, where you have the fairies for the effects and stuff, like passes and things like this, but we cannot summon them, so we're not one-shotting people with Laurel or what or whatnot. I also really hope Top League has a thing where they give everyone extra HP. Uh, I really hope that is also not a thing, so we don't so we can see some other classes come forward in this game mode. Let me know what you guys think down below. Until next time, guys.